So I was on this amazing cruise to Norway. We were, we had been up to see the Northern Lights. We saw the Northern Lights. I got to sleep in the ice hotel. It was an amazing trip. It's a 13 day cruise. We were on day 10 and we had entered, uh, the captain had warned us that we were gonna be some, some pretty heavy seas as the ship was nearing the end of the tour. And sure enough, there was like, 46 foot seas and 50 knot winds. So things were getting pretty rough. We uh, were sitting at lunch and a wave hits the ship and the whole buffet goes over, food on the floor, dishes crashing on the floor, table sliding, and then the whole hot buffet line went down and the next wave hit the ship. And we're up on deck eight and I said to my traveling companion, I think we ought to probably go lower in the ship. So we go down to deck two, which is the atrium. We're sitting on a cat, and meanwhile, waves are hitting the ship. We hear all the wine cabinet go over in the restaurant. We hear dishes crashing. We see bar stools flying across the floor. And we were sitting on a couch with two other people, and the next wave hit the ship and slid us 20 feet across the atrium sitting on this couch. And by then, the emergency announcements are starting to be made. The, the sirens that they, the warning uh, noise that they make when they are telling you to go to your muster station is played, which is a little off-putting. As I said to my friend, this is when this stuff's getting real, <laughs> where that went off, which was go to your muster station. Had trouble walking there. Uh, the captain had now lost the engines, which he's now announced that and told us the reason we're being buffeted like this is he's not able to control the ship and head us into the waves, which is what you want to do. <clears throat> So we go to the muster stations, they begin passing out the life jackets, and that's when you're like, this is really getting real here. <laughs> so there we sat for the next 17 hours. Um, they began doing, he, the captain told us they were gonna do helicopter evacuations off the ship. Unbeknownst to us, they started muster station B, which was the back of the ship in the restaurant. We did not realize a wave had hit the ship and taken out the windows and the seawater had crashed into the restaurant, knocking people down, soaking people. We saw none of that from Muster Station A. We were in the theater which had no windows, so we could not see the sea. We could only feel the motion of the boat as we were being hit. I would say within the first hour, he got the engine started again, which helped tremendously because now he could control the boat and get it headed into the waves, which stopped the rolling effect. Uh, he told us that tugboats were on their way out to tow us. Um, the helicopters, we could hear the helicopters over the ship. So they began evacuating people off. They could only take 20 at a time. So this, you start doing the math, there's 930 passengers on this, on the ship and only 20 per helicopter. We're like, oh my God, this thing's gonna, we're gonna be on here till Monday. This was Saturday this happened. So um, evacuations continued on into the night. He only stopped them about nine in the morning. Um, once he had the engines going, he took us further out to sea to get us away from the coast of Norway. It was a very interesting evening, sitting there in your life jacket, wondering what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And, but it was a good result. You ended up yep. staying on the boat and being tugged. Yes, yes, we stayed. We could tell, he started announcing maybe three in the morning that we were probably that things were, he was now able to move the ship. We now had one tug hooked onto us, eventually got the front tug hooked onto us. He said, I'm probably going to cease the helicopter operation. So that's when we became pretty evident to us, you know what, if you hang in here, you're probably not gonna to have to get off this ship by helicopter. Even though I kind of wanted that helicopter ride. I thought that was gonna be fun. So what's the customer service follow-up what did they did they sign did oh my gosh it's what? been no it's been amazing so the president of the cruise line met us in the we were towed into the port of Molda in on the coast of Norway it's in a fjord so the water is very placid in there uh, the president of the cruise line came to Norway and uh, he came on board the ship that night <clears throat> and you know again po apologized to all of us for this and um, they told us this cruise would be free. He's comping our next cruise. And then when we got the letters from them, uh, not only did they refund this entire cruise, and they refunded everything we did on the ship. We never got a ship portfolio charged, our credit cards. 
all the crew, all the shore excursions we'd taken, he comped. Um, he comped a future cruise in the amount of this one, and then he invited us all to be his guest on the inaugural of their brand new ship, the Venus, that will be launched in 2021. I'd say they've gone overboard. <laughs> they've gone out of their way, no What's, pun intended. <laughs> so what was the first thing you did when you got home? I made a will. 